I'm gonna start out by saying this does not help veterans. This is not really gonna help veterans because veterans are still gonna have to pay and this still is gonna disadvantage veterans. But the VA has come out with their circular that allows veterans to pay the buyer broker charges. Before this came out, a veteran could not pay the buyer broker, basically the buyer agent. Now they can. Matter of fact, we'll kind of go through this circular. It's super important. This is a temporary local variant. So the VA is going to come up with their permanent rules, but right now this is going to stay in effect for people. The VA is authorizing a temporary local variance that allows veterans to pay reasonable and customary amounts for any buyer broker charges, including commissions and any other broker related fees. Subject to the following one, the home the veterans purchasing in is an area where listing brokers are prohibited from setting buyer broker compensation. That's a lot of what's going on with the lawsuits that have been going on for the last couple of years. Here's a big thing here. All right. A lot of people are thinking, well, maybe we could do the buyer broker charges and put those into the loan amount. That cannot happen. All right. Much like the funding fee is added to the loan amount. Well, this is not like that. Buyer broker charges have to be paid separate. All right, so we're not rolling these broker fees into the loan. That is big news, all right? This is a no money down loan. Well, guess what? There's money down. In addition to the closing costs, fire broker charges are gonna have to be paid too. And that is a big disadvantage to the VA home loan benefit. Fire broker charges paid or to be paid by the veteran are to be considered in determining whether the veteran has sufficient liquid assets to close the loan. So now, not only does the veteran have to qualify to buy the home, the payment to the broker has to be considered in the qualification. It's kind of like having another bill. It's like another credit card charge. Can they make that payment? Uh, that is a big one, guys. I don't think this is very good for veterans. And, and veterans need to be stepping up and, and complaining to their congressman that this is still going to disadvantage veterans. The VA considers the buyer broker representation agreement, which is a requirement, will be a requirement starting August 17th to be part of the sales contract package. So basically now the VA, it, it, when a lender, so when I get the purchase contract, I also need to have the buyer broker letter to hand off to the underwriters and to the VA because they're gonna to wanna to look at that. Because again, whatever that agreement is, is gonna go into the qualification of the individual, the veteran. That's big news. Now, here's some important real information related to the brokerage charges. The VA encourages veterans to negotiate the amount to be paid to their buyer broker, whether the veteran or seller pays the amount. All right, so the VA is saying, hey veterans, negotiate with your buyer's agent. The temporary, variance announced by the circular does not prevent the seller of the home from paying the veterans buyer broker charges. So, so here's a big one, all right? The seller can still pay the buyer broker for the veteran, all right? So the seller can still pay the buyer's agent if the buyer is a veteran. That's, that's big news. And I, I still think you're going to see that in most cases, it'll be some sort of a seller concession. That leads us to the part C. As a reminder, VA does not treat the seller's payment of buyer broker charges as a seller concession. So whereas there are rules on how much concession that a seller can give a veteran buyer, the buyer broker payment is not to be considered as part of that seller concession. So that is the one encouraging piece of news from this whole thing. But again, seller's not required to pay the buyer broker agreement, the veteran's buyer agent, not required. And my big takeaways here, you're not rolling that buyer broker payment into the loan amount, not gonna happen. Two, it's gotta be paid. Three, it's gonna decrease the amount of qualification that that buyer is gonna have. It's good that the VA has said, hey, you know what? No veterans can now pay the buyer broker, but it's not good because this is still gonna disadvantage veterans. Obviously, we're still in the infant stages of the effects of the uh, the Sitzer Burnett and the National Association of Realtors uh, settlement agreement. There's still a lot more coming out. VA came out with their piece, you know, it'll take maybe a year, maybe two years. We may even see an, another circular or two as these rules kind of take place, coalesce uh, as we move forward. But uh, the VA is out with their review and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right. And once again, it's good that we got this circular from the VA. I still think it disadvantages veteran buyers. 
All right, mark my word, this is going to hurt veteran buyers in certainly in the Hawaii market, but in markets across the country as well. All right, have a great day. Thank you.